The Andrew 26101 Show. Before I do get into the content, um, unfortunately, I can't do live stream videos because my uh, channel has gotten a strike. Now, I don't know if YouTube does this whole, uh, we're going to ban your channel for a week type thing or if it's 90 days. But to me, usually, it, they don't lift it off over a week. It's usually 90 days. So I don't even know why they do that whole week process. But unfortunately, I cannot post up videos anymore but the real reason why I've got my channel taken down um, the title of the video that was taken down was the rise and fall of Sasua now I got a copyright strike off of uh, a guy by the name of passport action now I don't know this guy um, I've never seen this guy before you know no no disrespect so I, I mean listen he came across my video this video was going pretty much up there in, in, the, in the thousands or whatever in the views so usually, you know, around the time, this honestly, I get a lot of these weird, uh, not saying he's weird, but I mean, I get a lot of weird things happening all the time whenever my channel becomes or it's starting to get popular. I started getting the hate. I started getting the trolls. I started getting people flagging my shit down because of this, because of that. But this is one of the reasons why I don't do travel videos, man. And I'm not saying this guy has an ego or whatever because I don't know him. So I'm not putting him in this category, but I'm just saying based off of my experience, right? Is that I don't do travel videos no more. I used to long time ago. I've, I've had an old channel that got taken down. I used to do channel. I used to do travel videos on YouTube since back in 2010. You could ask O'Shea knows me very well for doing these type of videos, but I don't participate in these travel videos anymore for the same reason. And the reason is this, on YouTube, you've got a lot of people who are ego tripping, you know what I mean? And they have a certain amount of views, certain amount of subscribers, over a certain amount of content that they use or they do. So it's like they, they let this YouTube shit get to their heads, right? Now, with homie, I'm not saying he's on it like that, because like I said, I'm just speaking on just my experience dealing with travelers they tend to really um become ego tripping now listen um this is one of the prime reasons why i don't do travel videos now or do commentary usually on travel video i usually don't do this shit because of there's a lot of egos going out there where you got a lot of dudes that do simp and then they feel like you know especially like if you they say for instance, if you put a woman on on a video that you meet in Dominican Republic, some dude might feel some type of way because even though she's a street girl, they may feel like that girl belongs to them. So they be they so they become they get especially with black men, man. I gotta be real, man. Black men could be the most evilest people to each other, man. We could be some savages to each other. And and it's sad, but we don't we don't like to uplift or help each other we want to see another brother down because this is what we do as black men we want to be on top we want to we want to show that we're better than another person now i'm not saying this guy is but i'm just gonna say this right from a comment that was sent to me now i could post this because this was sent to me through a notification right which was yesterday before my channel got sh taken down so passport action says my man you stole my thumbnail and didn't ask for permission i'm gonna need you to remove it fair enough right cool now when i got this thumbnail um it was right after like 
when he when I got this not this thumbnail I should say when I got this uh notification um I looked at my account I wasn't even first of all I'm not even on I wasn't even on YouTube like that for a minute you know what I mean so I didn't receive a notification until like my my phone started busying on 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 uh on Gmail cuz I got my notifications you know signed on the Gmail so I saw this I was like I, I was like what was this dude talking about his thumbnail so i went onto his page and then when i went onto his page i saw his thumbnail then when i saw his thumbnail that's when i was like oh shoot this guy don't realize i got his shit off of google so i wrote him back saying hey hey dude your thumbnail is on google i don't i have no disrespect but i don't even know who you are and I don't go on people's channel just to copy this shit. I usually go on Google. Because when what I did is I put in Dominican Republic Sisua. And I look for pictures. So when I look for pictures and images, I save them. And then I <clears throat> I do my editing and, you know, all my shit, my little editing skills. And that's what I did. But he so-called claims that his pictures, uh, his picture of his thumbnail belonged to him. Now, like I said... This is no disrespect to you, my man, but I think you could have handled it a little bit better. Like I said, this is no disrespect. You know what I mean? All egos put aside. I don't know you like that, so I'm not gonna. I'm not the type of person to come out and talk trash about you because I, you know, what I'm saying I just don't. I don't move like that. But I just think that if you sent me a message, my man, what you what you did through the notification, you said you stole my thumbnail. And didn't ask permission. I'm gonna need for you to remove it. But you never gave me a chance to even remove the shit. Like you just went ahead and you followed. You wrote me a notification. Then you followed up with a strike. Then you follow up with reporting my channel to YouTube, saying that I did copyright. Now I didn't do a copyright infringement. I didn't steal your material or your video because the video was an interview with Milano. That's not copyright infringement. And your images was on Google. So as far as that is concerned, that is a public domain. I didn't copy your material. That was just a regular picture that's on Google. So I hope that you, you know, you watching this right now. Because like I said, this is no disrespect to you, my man. But I just think you could have handled this a little bit better. Especially us being black men. You didn't have to go to that extent to try to get my channel taken down so i had to go ahead and react re, re, I, I wrote to him i said hey dude can you reverse the decision shout out to milano milano knows this guy he knows this guy he doesn't know him very well but he knows the dude i guess he follows him on, on ig so he wrote him to him on ig saying that hey listen you know uh andrew showed he ain't he ain't even on it like that you know what i'm saying it was a misunderstanding which it was because his picture was on Google. But unfortunately, I guess he felt that I stole his material. And um, I guess he felt that he had to uh, react by sending this information to Google. See, this is why like, I don't put out any travel videos unless it's on my Patreon. But unfortunately, because of uh, COVID... I'm not traveling, but this is just one of the prime reasons, like, why I don't do travel videos no more. I don't, because you got, not saying him is a hater, or he has, or he has an ego, because I, like I said, I don't know him, but I'm just saying, based off of my experience with dealing with other people, I deal with people who are trolls, I deal with, uh, you know in the past i deal with a racist hispanic dude who didn't like me for traveling so he would flag my travel videos down and you got some dudes who don't like that you traveling at all not saying him now i don't want you to think that i'm saying you but i'm just saying hypothetically speaking i got other dudes out there who've been trying to flag my shit down because if i did travel video that's why i don't do the travel videos no more it's it's frustrating that you got to deal with this as a youtube contender that you got to deal with certain situations where people want to flag your shit down. You know what I'm saying? So this is just a message out for Passport Action. 
no offense, but I don't know you like that. I never heard of you. I don't even watch other people. This is why I don't, I don't watch other people's YouTube videos. But like I said, I was on Google and it was a regular picture of two girls. I'm not even going to post it up on here because I'm afraid that if he does see this, he might want to uh, do some sort of copyright infringement shit again. So that picture was a regular picture on Google and... You know what I'm saying? This is my statement. Now, my account could be in jeopardy because I went ahead and retracted the shit. Now, I don't think I'm in the wrong because my video was not copyrighted. Okay? The only thing that I have on there that I guess allegedly belongs to him is his thumbnail. Fair enough. But if your thumbnail is on a public domain on Google, dude, you cannot, you know, say that's copyright. Unless I took it from you or your video. But I understand your cover was on your video. But you got to understand that it was in a public domain. It's on Google. If you go ahead and put in uh, Dominican Republic Sasua, you see your, your picture right there. So as far as me trying to take your material, you know, I don't want you. I don't want it to. I think it's just a really big misunderstanding. Because like I said, I don't steal people's material. But you know unfortunately you know for my fan base i cannot do a live stream i've tried to contact this guy to see if he could reverse the decision so i could get back to my regular scheduled program so if you guys know this guy you know just out of respect don't attack this dude okay because i'm not out here for that shit. i'm not out here to do that but if you know him just kindly talk to the dude and say hey listen you know, Drew two six Andrew two six one zero one. Da 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 da. I seen this video that he posted about you, but it was no disrespect. But yo, you gotta counter this shit. Like you gotta take, you gotta wave this shit off because you know what I mean. He's not on it like that, and it's just a big misunderstanding. But anyways, this type of stuff can happen, man. But this is why I don't do travel videos, man. This is why I don't do travel videos on YouTube. So, um, I guess for now, I'm just going to have to just do videos, uh, that are not live, but that's just pre-recorded and uploaded until I get this, uh, situation, uh, sorted out. But Passport Action, he has the power to go ahead and do this. But right now it's up to the hands of YouTube because I went ahead and, and filed in my claim to see if they could reverse this decision because this is a totally misunderstanding because his thumbnail was on Google. And I never intentionally meant to take his work. I don't, I could make my own thumbnails. Now, no disrespect to you, but I could make my own thumbnail. I just saw a picture and I went ahead and edited it and did a lot of things to it. You know what I mean? To, you know, make it look pretty dope. But as far as me trying to take your shit, come on, dude. I'm like, nah, I don't need to do that. But anyways, man, I'm out. Y'all write the video, leave your comments, let me know what you think about this situation. Um, do you think I'm in the wrong? Or do you think I'm in the right for addressing this? Because I can't get a hold of this guy. I've tried to write back to him to see if he could reverse the decision on this. But unfortunately, uh, I haven't heard anything. But anyways, guys, I'm going to come out with another video I'm going to upload. So y'all stay tuned, alright? God bless y'all.